Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add a circle highlight in Shotcut. So the first thing you do is click on these three lines, go to Track Operations, and Add Video Track. We're going to need two tracks for this project, so we're going to click on that three lines again, go to Track Operations, Add Video Track, left click again. Then we're going to open the file that we're going to add the highlight to. So I'm using the last play from um, Nick's and yes. Nuggets last night. I want to highlight um, Quickly's defense here. So we click that, left click and drag it to the bottom track V1. And uh, if you hit spacebar, you can start this video and you can see the preview up there of what the video looks like. Okay, yeah, so we want to get a circle around quickly here so that you can see, um, you can focus your attention on him. So we're going to, that's the selector bar, we're going to left click it and we can move it back to the start of our project. And we're going to use a circle PNG. I'll, um, <clears throat> you can find these really easily, but or just make them, but I can attach the one that I use in the comments to this video if um, you don't want to look for your own. Uh, so yeah, we loaded this in. We're going to left click and drag it to that top track. And you can move this around in your track by left clicking and holding and dragging back and forth. So yeah, if we press spacebar and get a preview of what our project looks like, you can see that circle is right in the middle of the screen. Obviously we don't want that, we want it to track quickly. So let's go back to the start of our project, left click and drag it back to the start. You're going to click on that circle track, left click on that, and then go to the filters button hit the plus sign, and we're going to search for size, position, and rotate filter, and then just click on that. Okay, so to resize this, you just go to the corner there, click and drag. You can make it bigger or smaller. And that little center where you get the crossbars, if you click on that, you can move the circle around. So let's get it on quickly here. Under five seconds, and we can yes. preview, press spacebar to preview again, and you can see that... That circle is right in the middle of the video. Obviously, we don't want that either. We want to track quickly. So these five dots here, if you click on it and move this pane over, you can see a little um, clock icon. That's to um, make the filter apply to keyframes, and that's going to allow us to track quickly here. So you're going to click on that. Make sure that's highlighted. And if you click on this crosshairs again, <clears throat> you can move it to quickly's body and what we're going to do is press spacebar move it a couple frames move this circle press spacebar again move it a couple frames move this circle back to the center of quickly's body and we're just going to keep on doing this every half second or so we're going to keep on pausing our video advancing and pausing our video and moving this circle so that it's right at the center of quickly it's a pretty tedious process uh if you pause your video more frequently the circle is going to track better less frequently it's going to look a little bit jagged so it's just a matter of you know how much time and effort you want to put in this but yeah i usually just do like about half a second and we just keep on left clicking dragging that to the center of his body and when we go back to the start of the track if we Yep, just click on select that yes. and we press spacebar to preview. You can see that now the circle is tracking really well, and you can highlight quickly. The rule of thumb that I usually do is if it's an off ball action, <laughs> we're going to hit the export file button and just put in the file name. And this bar on the right, upper right, it tells you when the job is done. It usually takes about 30 seconds on my computer, depending on what your graphics card is, how big your file is. It might take a little bit longer. And yeah, that's it.